At this point, you should have had practice with these aspects of DNA replication. You should understand which the template strands are, both of them. You should be able to, again, use complementarity or base pairing to fill in the opposite strand. You should have some sense of what a primer is. Really what you need to know is it's the three prime end you add on to. And you should have a sense of the direction of DNA synthesis, the three prime end addition rule. So bearing those rules in mind and DNA replication in mind, let us go on to our next topic, which is that of transcription. If you like, transcription is the first step in the information transfer. Transcription produces RNA that is copied from a DNA template. The difference between transcription and DNA replication are really twofold. Firstly, the RNA uses uracil, where DNA uses thymine. And secondly, unlike the case for DNA replication, only one of the strands is used as a template. So there is only one template strand. Let's see how it works. Let's start off again with our double-stranded DNA, our gene going in anti-parallel arrangement, five prime to three prime, three prime to five prime. So this is our gene, it's DNA. As before, for DNA replication, the strands are going to separate. Here they are, five prime to three prime, and three prime to five prime. The top strand is not the template strand in our example. So we're going to call this non-template. The bottom strand is the template strand. I just made that up. I could have done it the other way around. It wouldn't have mattered, OK? But you'll see in this example why I've done it this way. That template strand is now going to be copied into RNA in much the same way that DNA replication takes place. A different set of components, but the complementary idea is the same. So this template strand is now copied into RNA. And the RNA will go five prime to three prime. The RNA will then leave the template. The RNA leaves the template and the two strands, the template and the non-template strand, will come together again, and they will make their complementary base-paired arrangement. That is transcription. Let's look at a couple of slides. Let's firstly talk about the difference between the nucleotides in RNA and DNA. I've told you, um, one, that there's uracil instead of thymine. The other one that I'll point out to you is that ribonucleotides, the ones that make RNA, have got an extra hydroxyl group on them. They've got that two prime hydroxyl on the sugar. That is not there in the deoxy ribonucleotides that make DNA. The deoxy in deoxyribonucleic acid refers to that two prime hydrogen that is a hydroxyl in the ribose. Okay, so there is a difference of hydroxyl group as well as this uracil versus thymine in the nucleotides. The reason that you care at all about this extra hydroxyl group is that it makes the ribonucleotides more reactive. It makes RNA less stable than DNA. That hydroxyl group on the two prime is a, is, is a reactive group and RNA is much less stable than DNA. So DNA is a better storage material for the genes because it doesn't break down as much as RNA because it doesn't have this reactive two prime hydroxyl. Here's a schematic 
of transcription. I haven't put the exact nucleotides in here, but you can see template and non-template strand. You can see that the RNA is copied from just one of the strands, and after it's copied, it leaves the template and the template strands go back together again. You should note on the slide that I've indicated a start site and a stop site for RNA synthesis. There is a choice and there are particular DNA sequences that regulate where RNA is made from, where transcription begins, and where transcription ends. And one thing I want to really emphasize here, and you'll have practice in a moment on this, is that the complementary DNA strands are transcribed into different RNAs. You just have to do the exercise to know this. Here's a nucleic acid sequence, double-stranded DNA. If you use the top strand as the template, you get piece of RNA made. If you use the bottom strand, you get another piece of RNA made. If you compare the RNAs that are made by flipping them around so that the five prime end is on the same side for each of the RNAs, then you can compare them with the correct polarity. You'll see, obviously, that the two strands made from the two different templates are different. So it really matters in transcription which strand you're copying from as to what the outcome will be. I want you now to go to this class exercise and practice some rules of transcription. They'll be your, nu they'll be your nucleic acid rules applied now to RNA synthesis. <laughs> 